You are listening to the Life Coach Business Podcast, episode number 79. Welcome to the Life Coach Business Podcast, a show for coaches who are ready to up-level their business and take their impact, leadership, and results to a whole new level. If you're ready to start taking powerful action and become the leader your business needs in order to grow and thrive, this show is for you. I'm your host, Amanda Karlstad, certified life and business coach and entrepreneurial leadership expert. Now let's get down to business. Hello and welcome everyone. Glad to have you with me. Welcome to any new listeners. I'm so glad that you're here. I hope you're all doing amazing. I am doing fantastic. I had such a great week last week. I had a fantastic week. So many great things happening in the business. So many big wins for my clients. It was just one of those weeks where I was almost felt a little bit overwhelmed just by the excitement and by all of the great things that were happening. And so just to give you a little taste of that, uh, one of the things that I was really, really excited about is last week, I got to actually send out two awards. So for those of you who aren't aware, one of the things that I celebrate for my clients are certain milestones that they reach in their business, that first 100,000, their first 250,000, so on and so forth. And so last week I was able to actually send out two awards that I was so, so excited about. And it was so fun to be able to see that and to see my clients receive that and to just see the level of pride and to feel just such a sense of pride in their work, in what they are building, and just all of the amazing things that are happening. And so that was really special for me and really so much fun to witness that. And I'm just so, so excited for what's ahead. In addition to that, I'm also in the process of putting the final touches on our upcoming retreat. So again, for those of you who might not know, One of the things that we do for in my high level program, my high level inner circle mastermind program is that we do retreats. We do quarterly retreats. And so we have an upcoming retreat happening in just a few short weeks. And I'm so excited to bring everyone together in person for that and to really sit down and dive deep and get into some deep, deep topics, some do some really deep coaching and really dive deep into their businesses ultimately and create that next level vision for each of them and how we're going to go about doing that. So that is coming up. So working on finalizing that in addition to so many other exciting things. So super excited for what is happening moving into spring and finishing up this first quarter. It's been one of the best quarters of my business. It's been the best quarters for many of my clients' businesses. And so there's just such great momentum all around. And I'm super, super excited about what's ahead. So for today's episode, I decided to do an encore episode, and this is of episode number four, Unconditional Belief. And the reason I felt like it was important that I did an encore episode of this topic is because this is something that I was reflecting on over the past few days as I look at all of the wins, not only in my own business, but in my clients' businesses. And it's something that it's a concept that I developed very early on. And it's something that I really do work hard to embody in my own business. It's something that I practice on a daily basis in my own business, in my life. And it's this idea of having unconditional belief. And so when I thought about the message that I wanted to share with all of you today and the message that I thought was important to share with you today, what kept coming up for me, especially as I was reflecting on all of the recent wins here in first quarter and what we're really building here for this year and beyond, I really did a lot of reflecting on the fact that 
throughout this entire process and throughout my journey, I've really embodied this unconditional belief about my business, about myself, about my clients. And it's so much fun to be in a position now where I can see so many of those beliefs that are actually manifesting into reality. And so with that, I want to invite you to listen in. Let's dive into the show. The concept that I want to talk to you all about today is called unconditional belief. And how I developed this concept was as I was really looking at and observing my most successful clients and also reflecting on my own experience and looking at really what it takes to be successful in building an online business today, especially in the coaching and consulting industry, I have seen over and over again that what we're about to talk about can make all of the difference. And so I know I've mentioned this in an earlier podcast, but I want you to really consider that We're living in an amazing time where there has never been a better time or more accessibility when it comes to starting a business, especially if you're in the online space, right? And if you're starting an online coaching or consulting business, right? And so not only that, but the technology that we have available to us and the demand for the work that we're doing, it allows us to reach and serve so many people in so many parts of the world. And it's all a really an exciting time and it's an exciting place to be right now. And with all of this technology, you know, with all of the social media, with everything around us on any given day, there's so many opportunities available. And we all have such an opportunity to be able to live our purpose through this work, to really make that positive impact and to really build a successful business while doing it. But the truth is, despite all of that, there's also a lot of noise in the industry. And it's because of the noise that I see a lot of people who have a hard time staying focused and staying clear in their business. And what happens is, is when you don't have this clarity, there is a lot of time and energy and money that's being spent on things that aren't effectively helping you move forward as quickly as you could be. And you also feel stuck not creating the level of results you really want in your business. And so I see this as one of the main struggles with newer coaches who are newer entrepreneurs and they're stepping into this new place. But I also see it with more seasoned coaches too, with coaches that are trying to relaunch their business or perhaps even shift the focus in their business, like moving from an offline model to an online model or changing their their niche, changing their programs, their offerings. And so it's because of this, I see this happen all of the time. And I think this is a really important concept to talk about. One of the reasons why I love this concept so much, and I believe in it so wholeheartedly and practice it in my own business is because it really is a game changer. And because I have come to know this and I've really come to experience this in my own business and know that it's been one of the determining factors to my success and also to my clients who've come to know it as well, it's your ability to have unconditional belief. And as I've been talking about in my previous podcast episodes, your level of beliefs determine the level of results you have in your business and in your life. And your beliefs at the end of the day will dictate how successful or unsuccessful you are in business. It really boils down to that. And so what I love about unconditional belief with this whole concept is that it really requires a whole new level of thinking and emotional management to really believe at a level that's unconditional. It's like unconditional love. Think about in your life when you've experienced that, right? It's a whole new level of love that you feel, and it could be, for some of you, it might be with your children, for some of you, it might be with your spouse, your soulmate, whoever. But it's the same concept, right? You learn to love on a whole new level, on a level that's unconditional. And it's the same thing here. And so I believe one of the most important things you can do as a business owner, as someone who is working to grow and scale their business, especially if you're in the earlier stages of your business, 
is to cultivate an unconditional belief in yourself and what you're creating in your business. But the thing with this is that it requires you to think big. And when you're in these earlier stages of building your business, or you're in a stage where you're rebuilding your business, you're relaunching, and it feels really tough, really difficult, it's even more difficult to do because you don't yet have the evidence and you don't have the results yet that this whole thing is even going to work out. And so what happens is, is there's a ton of self-doubt that tends to come up when you're in this stage of business. And, you know, if you're in this stage where you're trying to transition fully into your business from your day job, you know, maybe from your corporate role, or even if you've already made that transition, but your business isn't at the level that you want it yet, chances are you're also going through the inevitable identity crisis that I talked about in episode one, which side note, by the way, if you haven't listened to, I highly recommend you go back and listen to, but it's only through this identity crisis that feels like one of the most difficult things you've ever gone through that you reach this next level of success. It's a requirement. And because you're going through it, what happens is, is you spend so much time swinging between what I call forced belief and self-doubt. And I want to talk for just a minute about this whole concept of what I believe to be forced belief, because I think this is really important to recognize too. It's a very real thing. A forced belief in my experience is a belief that in a lot of cases might have been taken from someone else, or it might have been taken on with not a lot of real consideration or thought or work on how it actually feels. And so what happens is, is that we don't end up questioning the thought because maybe we've seen that it's worked for someone else or someone else might have created a certain amount of money that we want with that particular thought. So we assume that it can work for us too. And in some cases, we might be able to get some traction with that thought. But the problem is, is that long-term, if we're really trying to force that belief, if we really don't believe that belief, and we're trying to live and operate from that same belief that doesn't quite feel authentic or congruent to us, we spend a tremendous amount of time and energy trying to force ourselves to believe something that we ultimately don't believe. And that belief, it's not triggering the type of emotion that effectively serves us in what we're trying to achieve. And that just doesn't work. And so I think this is a really important distinction. And it's one of the concepts I'll be talking about in a future episode, this whole concept and idea of living other people's thoughts. But for today, I want to focus on the idea of unconditional belief and why it's so important to develop this within yourself, especially as you're growing your business, because your current level of belief is going to dictate your level of success. And whenever you're believing the self-doubt and the old stories you've been believing your whole life, these old patterns of thinking, they always end up feeling like fact. And when they feel like fact, we end up believing and accepting them as fact. And it's extremely hard to move forward when we're operating from that place. And so this is why developing unconditional belief is critical. And one of the best byproducts when you develop unconditional belief in yourself and what you're creating in your business, when you really do the internal work that's required to develop this within yourself, there's such a sense of peace that comes through all of this, that comes through this process. And so all of that old struggle, all of those old feelings, all of that old energy that we spend or have spent trying to force things, it's almost like it just quietly melts away. And when this happens, you notice quickly that this old pattern of swinging between old stories of self-doubt and into that forced belief that really doesn't feel authentic and really isn't supporting you in moving forward it's like you move into this total neutral state and it's a whole new sensation. It's a whole new feeling in your body. And it's one of the most powerful states you can operate from. And it's also one of the most peaceful states to live in, I might add. So I know this is going a little deep and because of that, I'll plan to talk more in detail about this on a future episode, but operating from neutrality is a very powerful place to operate your business from. 
And I have found it to be an extremely peaceful state as well. And so we'll dive into that as well in a future episode. But for now, I want you to understand that with all of this, when you have a big dream for yourself, when you're really doing the work to cultivate a level of belief that is unconditional and truly authentic, it requires you to believe in yourself in a whole new way. And in order to do that, you have to generate and connect to so much more of your personal power and your strength in order to really cultivate it. It requires a whole new level of intentionality with yourself. And it also requires believing in what is possible and believing in a way that is beyond your current level of programming that's in your current belief system. It's about opening yourself up to the possibility of what doesn't exist yet in something that is so much bigger than your current circumstances. And this is the real work, my friends, and it is so, so powerful. And I've learned this over the past year with my business, and it's been a total game changer. And when I see my clients step into this new level of belief for themselves, it changes the game for them too. But here's the thing, to get to this level, to get to this level of unconditional belief, this whole process, in in most cases, it feels awful and it feels extremely hard. And the reason for this is because it's challenging your current identity. It's challenging the person you've always been and it's challenging everything you've known. And it's moving you into this place where there's nothing There's nothing there except for the belief. There's no certainty. There's nothing familiar to hold on to. And it quickly becomes a very vulnerable place. And I watch every one of my clients go through this. So one of the metaphors that I have found to be very useful to describe what's happening when they're going through this whole process is to visualize that you've just walked into a river. And so I want you all to imagine this too. And I'm not talking about just dipping your toe in. I want you to visualize that you've walked all the way into this river. You've walked into this river that's about three or four feet deep, and you're about halfway to the other side. And I want you to imagine that you've walked into it with a pretty high level of confidence because before you walked in, you looked at the river, you looked at the bank on the other side of it. And you saw that it appeared to be a pretty calm, peaceful, shallow river or stream from the surface. And so because of that, you thought it was going to be a pretty easy walk to get to the other side. And so I want you to imagine yourself walking into this river, into this stream. And imagine now that you're about halfway in and your first few steps were pretty easy, but now you're in the middle of this river and now you've realized that you're in the middle of some pretty strong rapids and you didn't see them before. And I want you to imagine what this really feels like. I know most of you have had this physical experience before, so I know you understand what this feels like. And so it's like you've walked halfway into this river. You can't go back and you don't want to go back. And you have this beautiful field, this beautiful field of wildflowers and beautiful mountains on the other side of this river once you get to the other side. And you don't want to go back to where you started. But the problem is, is you're quickly realizing that crossing the river isn't going to be as easy as you originally thought. And you also see that there's only one way to get to the other side, and that's through the rapids that you're currently in. You know it's the only way, and there's no going back. And I want you to picture and feel these rapids and how they're getting stronger and stronger as you move forward. And so now you're also realizing that you can't look back. Because you know that if you do, chances are you're going to lose your footing. And those rapids, they're going to carry you downstream and you're not going to be able to find your footing again. So you know you've got to keep focused on the bank, on getting to that other side, and you've got to keep stepping forward and exerting all of your strength to keep your footing and to take each step towards that other side. And as you're doing this, you also have to stay present with taking just one step at a time and carefully feeling and finding your footing across the rocks that you're stepping on at the bottom of the river 
while holding strong against those rapids. This is the same process of developing unconditional belief. Just as you would carefully take one step at a time and keep your focus on taking just that next step and focusing forward, it's the same process to cultivate this unconditional belief. And the fact is, is that you have to do it because if you don't, you're going to get carried away in the rapids and you won't get to the other side. And it's the same with your business. If you want to build a successful business, you have to first have clarity on where you're going. You have to know what you're working towards. You have to have a compelling vision. And I've talked about this in episode two of this podcast, but on top of all of this, you have to recognize that when you found yourself in the middle of the quote unquote rapids, you have to have the awareness as to what's coming at you, to what's occupying your brain, to your current level of belief And all of those reasons why your brain is delivering to you those narratives on why this isn't going to work out, why you can't be successful. And instead, you have to imprint a new set of beliefs. And you have to exert a new level of energy and new level of strength in your intentional thought process that is going to create this new belief system. It literally rewires your brain and it's going to keep you strong while you're in the middle of the rapids. And you have to stay focused on what's ahead and not spend your time looking back because looking back is only going to get you sidetracked and force you to lose your footing. And if it starts carrying you downstream, down into that thought spiral, (laughs) it's either one, going to slow you down or two, it's going to carry you downstream completely and take you to somewhere you don't want to be. I also want you to understand that Wanting to know exactly how you're going to cross the river, exactly how you're going to create this seven figure business, it's going to keep you sidetracked and it's going to prevent you from walking all of the way in because it's just like as if you were crossing a river. If you really had to do that, you'd know that all you need to do is just take one step at a time and keep focusing forward. And so I want you to see that it's the exact same process with your business. But if you don't have this unconditional belief in yourself, in what you're creating, it's going to keep you on the side of the river. It's going to keep you where you don't want to be. And you'll keep the same pattern of swinging back and forth from forced belief and self-doubt. And I want you to consider this, just like if you really had to cross a river you know that if you just took one step at a time, that you'd carefully find your footing with every step that you take. It's the same thing with your business. You have to have that same level of unconditional belief, knowing that you're going to get to the other side, that you can create exactly what you want to create, but you have to be willing to do the work and you have to be willing to walk through. And you have to be willing to do the work to stay strong and understand that you know how to just take one step at a time. And with each of that of those steps, you're going to build that unconditional belief and be even stronger. And at the same time, you're going to get closer and closer to that other side. And so because of those rapids, Those are like that old identity, those old stories that keep surfacing in new and old ways. And it's like you move through this shift from who you've always been to who you need or you want to be now. This is going to be one of the strongest forces you're ever going to be up against as you're up leveling in your business, hands down. Your brain is going to be confused. It's not going to have the certainty of who you've always been. So it's going to create the rapids. It's going to try to pull you off course, but in order to move to your next chapter, you're going to have to walk through. You're going to have to walk through the rapids and walk through the unfamiliar and go into the unknown and know that once you get to the other side, it will be one of the greatest gifts that you'll ever give yourself to really unconditionally believe in yourself, to have walked through those rapids to really make it happen for yourself. There's a real sense of peace when you do this, a real sense of freedom. 
So here's to developing unconditional belief in yourself and what you're creating starting today. I hope you all have an amazing week and I'll talk to you again very soon. Hey, if you're ready for a real breakthrough in your business and want to grow and scale your business to at least six figures or more in annual revenue, I invite you to apply for my exclusive program, The Mastermind at amandacarlstadcoaching.com forward slash the dash mastermind. I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Life Coach Business Podcast. If you want to learn more about how to build, grow, and scale your business and accelerate your results, visit amandacarlstadcoaching.com.